Millions of years ago, this vast Utah desert was full of dinosaurs. It's made the town of Moab a mecca for paleontologists. But if you're hunting for dinosaurs here, you don't just take your hammer and chisel. You might also add a Geiger counter, all thanks to a radioactive metal, uranium. Uranium deposits are sometimes found alongside dinosaur skeletons, leading paleontologists to fossilized bones like a trail of breadcrumbs. But dino hunters are far from the first to flock to Moab with dreams of this glowing treasure. Because uranium also has a much more infamous function. It's used to make nuclear weapons. And for one brief moment in its history, Moab sat at the center of the Cold War between the Soviet Union and the USA. Today, the free world and the communist world are locked in a peculiar struggle for the minds of men. In the 1950s, Moab was the uranium capital of the world. Only yesterday, a quiet Mormon village. Today, a boom town. Much like the California gold rush of a century earlier, people flocked to Utah for the era of the glow rush. Kind of went from a town of 500 people to 5,000 people almost overnight when they discovered uranium. Uranium was so crucial to the war effort that the US government passed a law which meant only they could purchase the element. And the price was set astonishingly high. Thousands of prospectors from across the USA moved to Moab on the promise of striking it rich. And uranium's link to fossils wasn't lost on prospectors. There were tales of petrified wood being so full of uranium that it was sold for many thousands of dollars. But much like the Californian gold rush, most prospectors left disappointed. Much worse, many of them ended up paying the ultimate price for their hopes of fame and fortune. There were a lot of deaths in the early days when they didn't take any precautions. They were just trying to get rich and they didn't know any better. They didn't realize they were poisoning themselves, basically. Working underground without any protective equipment, many uranium miners were exposed to massive doses of radiation. Guys were smoking cigarettes and mining, and then they inhaled a lot of radioactive dust. We had pretty high cancer rate for a while. After the boom years of the 1950s, the industry began to dwindle disappearing entirely in just a few decades. But its legacy has left scars on the landscape. I took self-contained breathing apparatus into an old mine that hadn't been worked for 30 years. Radiation levels were 500 times what they would even let you work in for an hour. But uranium leaves a much more unexpected legacy it can lead paleontologists to dinosaur bones. Uranium is everywhere. It's scattered in tiny amounts in almost everything on the planet, but it almost never collects in a concentration worth mining. But when bones begin to fossilize, the organic material is gradually replaced by minerals from the surrounding sediment. And in this part of the world, that often means uranium. Uranium also hitches a ride in the groundwater seeping through gaps in the rock until it nestles in cavities in organic material like dinosaur bone. That's why uranium deposits can often be found with dinosaur skeletons. Even now, the bones can be radioactive enough to require care whilst handling. Today's prospectors are still hunting for buried treasure. Only these days, they're after big bones, not big bucks. <laughs>